OneStream presents its last update and introduce the functionalities added or improved. Version 1.1.38 Change Log Separated giving credits to subresellers to new permission, credit subresellers, breaking change. The admin must add this option to the reseller roles. If not, then the Add Credit button in Manage Subresellers will not work. Add an option to make locks auto reset. Now you can make your locks auto reset by going to Subscriptions, Manage Lines, Edit. Improved Geolocation, Blacklist, Roles Queries. UI Update Credits History. We have migrated one more page to React.js to improve overall user experience in the panel. UI Improvement, Lazy Loading Cover Images in BO. This will benefit you for loading the pages of Manage Movies and Manage Series faster. Added permission to view version label. To add the ability to view the version label, go to Registered Users, Manage Groups, Menu, Admin CP Settings. Added page to reorder bouquets. A new page has been made. You can find it in Menu Bouquets, Reorder Bouquets. The new order will be applied on the pages, Create Package, Add Line, Add Device, and Add Enigma to Device. UI Improvement, Manage Movies. Add an audit log to record changes in panel. You can see it on your server, it is a file that has all the changes that were done in the panel. Can be accessed in, Home, OneStream, IPTV, Storage, Logs. And the log name is Audit Log. Improvement to Open Files Limit Handling. The increased open files limit on the servers is applied more consistently. Add an option to see server DB host and port. You can now see the host and port of server. From streaming servers, manage server, edit. Added tmdb underscore ID to portal.php responses. In order for your end users to fully benefit from the functionality of their devices, such as formula and others. Added option for file caching of content. To limit the DB queries, you have an option for file caching. It can be found in streaming servers, manage server, edit. Added settings for engine X level caching for portal.php and player underscore API.php. In streaming servers, manage server, edit, is the option for engine X caching for Xcode API and Mac devices. This will improve your overall performance of the panel. And you will be able to handle more users by using this setting. UI Improvements External Servers Yet another page has been migrated to React.js for better user experience in the panel. UI Improvements Categories Page Tabs Now categories are separated as separate tabs for easier management and reordering. Category tabs are as follows, streams, radios, movies, and series. UI improvements of updates prompt. Now you will have the ability to postpone the update for one hour, until tomorrow, for this version only or entirely on this device. This means you will not be prompted if you'd like to update any further, but only a notification will be displayed at the navigation bar on top. Add an option to switch off web player. This will restrict any users from accessing it and you can turn off the web player from settings, panel, web player. Added option for backward compatibility with EPG change after version 1.1.34. This is a setting on device level that you can access from manage devices, edit device, apply time zone in legacy mode. Yes or no? Added option for two-factor authentication to panel login. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, is a security system that requires two separate, distinct forms of identification in order to access something. The first factor is a password, and the second commonly includes a text, with a code sent to your smartphone, or it is using biometrics. In Settings, Panel, Security Settings you can set up 2FA. Administrators will have the ability to reset the 2FA for user who have set it up in order to be able to regain access to the panel if the 2FA device is lost. Optimization to Bouquet's Build Optimization to Migration Script